Okay, you already have a gorgeous EK Quantum Vector GPU RGB water block. Ah, uh, ain't it pretty? But what if we tell you that it can look even better? And how, you ask? Well, RGB is good, but addressable DRGB is even better. In short, with DRGB, you get to control virtually each and every LED. And in this tutorial, we will show you how to upgrade your EK Vector GPU block with DRGB Lightning. First things first, there are two EK Vector RTX 2080 GPU water blocks, the Nickel Plexi and the Nickel Acetal. In case of Nickel Plexi water block, we will use the black EK Vector RTX 2080 DRGB upgrade kit. But first, we have to detach the existing kit that comes in two pieces. For the first one, we don't need any tools, we just pop it open as shown here. To remove the second piece, we need a Phillips head screwdriver. Fortunately, there are only two screws in there, so it's not a hassle. There you go. In the upgrade kit package, you will find the DRGB strip, which we have to install to this piece. Remove 3M protective film and install it as showcased here. As you already noticed, we need to connect this DRGB power cable. You could also connect the cable to the DRGB strip first and then attach it to this piece. Next, we need to mount this piece and align it with the hole openings and then screw it in place. Now you need to connect the power cable from the second piece with the power cable from the first one. Don't worry, it can only go one way through. Finally, we just pop up the last piece back in place. And there you go. Okay, and just a heads up, addressable DRGB connector on your motherboard has three pins, so all that's left is to connect it to your motherboard. Let's get back to installing the white DRGB upgrade kit. So, you have nickel acetal version of the Vector RTX 2080 water block. The procedure is almost verbatim, just like in a case of nickel plexi, but with one big difference. Following the previous steps, we pop up the first part, unscrew the second one, and remove the existing RGB strip. Take out the DRGB strip from the upgrade kit, remove the 3M protection film, line up the strip, and glue it to the water block as showcased here. Now connect the power cable to the strip, install white lightning diffuser, and screw it in. Just like the last time, connect the power cable from the second piece with the power cable from the first one. Finally, pop the last piece back in place. And that's it. Oh, oh, I get it, all right, all right. How can we forget the Christmas lights? Light them up, boys. Ooh, ooh.